I have a different perspective on estrogen. I don't believe estrogen in your body, in your bloodstream, causes breast cancer. I believe estrogen in your breast tissue, excessive estrogen in your breast tissue, causes breast cancer. But not high estrogen in your bloodstream, because if that were true, when you were 26 years old, you should be riddled with breast cancer, right? Right. When you had an abundance of estrogen in your bloodstream. Right. By the way, 80% of breast cancers occur after menopause when your estrogen levels are lower than they were since you were seven years of age. Is that because people are taking the hormone? No, no, we're just talking about nobody, just someone who says, you know, I'm not doing anything, I'm doing this naturally. Their estrogen levels after menopause will be lower than that of a seven-year-old. But 80% of breast cancers occur after menopause. And then they say, oh, but estrogen causes breast cancer. And you're like, those are two very incongruent thought processes. Because why does the highest percentage of breast cancer occur when my estrogen levels are the lowest they've been my entire life? Right? Right, right. That doesn't make sense. No, I mean, and again, you know, if you were 28 years old and your estrogen levels were 5 and 600, Every woman at 26 year old, if estrogen causes breast cancer, it should be riddled with breast cancer. Why is it wait for your estrogen to fall below less than five? Right. Why? I mean, and the answer is the fat part I was talking about. Remember I said how your brain is looking around and it's not happy with your estrogen levels. Right. So it's yelling louder and louder. And it's yelling to make more fat. So that can be the place where it can make estrogen, because the ovary's not doing a good job of it. Okay. So the next thing in line is your fat tissue. So it's yelling and screaming, make more fat tissue. And that includes your hips, your thighs, your butt, your belly, and your breast tissue. Mm -hmm. And it's yelling at all those tissues to make estrogen. Well, they've actually showed in a very interesting study that postmenopausal women have between 20 to 50 times higher estrogen levels in their breast tissue than in their bloodstream. Oh. So that's right. Oh, wait a second. That, yeah. That's what the problem is. The problem isn't the estrogen in your bloodstream. The, the problem tissue. is the estrogen in the fat tissue of your breast. That now, now by the way, yeah, see, that does make sense. But you know what? They'll say, well, estrogen causes breast cancer. Don't give estrogen. I'll, well, that's I'll why my veterinary my yeah. said to me, I want you off this. I, I don't want you on this very long. I know. That's this... Then I'll go through. I'll go through that, and I'll go through some pretty interesting studies that will go. Oh my God! I need to be on this. And you know what? I'm at 75. I still want to be on it. Okay. Okay. So a, a couple other things with, um, you know, with the estrogen. You know, you if, if you think about it. So get how if this very very low at level of estrogen in my bloodstream is associated with the highest incidence of breast cancer, i.e. it's being made in the fat tissue, how can I reduce that concentration of estrogen in my breast tissue? By giving you estrogen. So then your brain goes, oh, hey, wait a second, time out. We don't need any more fat tissue because the estrogen really looks good. So what happens? The estrogen levels fall in the breast tissue, the estrogen, and the, uh, that's the problem. And the estrogen levels fall in the belly fat, and the body says, we don't need to make any more belly fat because we don't need more estrogen. Okay. Now, the other thing I was, does that make sense? Yeah. And the other thing, though, is like you say, well, how come, you know, if, if the estrogen is high concentration of the breast tissue, and it's obviously a high concentration of my belly because my belly's getting bigger, my butt's getting bigger, my thigh's getting why don't I get cancer in here? And I, I tell people, I've been doing surgery for over 30 years. I have never operated on a belly fat cancer. Why is that? The answer is there are there there are dividing cells, but they're not like in the breast tissue. In the breast tissue, you have ductal cells that okay. are probably the duct, the lining the duct mm-hmm. of the breast, and that's where you get intraductal cell carcinoma. Okay, that high concentration, twenty to fifty times higher estrogen, is bathing those ducts in this very high concentration of estrogen. Okay. okay. Also, the lobules, which are where milk is stored and right. formed, lobular cell carcinoma in situ, which is a common breast cancer. Right. Okay. Um, those are all caused because the breast tissue it's bathing these cells in a very, very high concentration of estrogen. So, how can we reduce that concentration of estrogen in there? How can we re- reduce it like you were 22 years of age? 
because you didn't have a high concentration of estrogen in your breast tissue when you were 22 years of age, right. not 20 to 50. It waits till you're menopausal. And you go like, that really stinks. <laughs> and by the way, it really stinks that I've got to have to have all this other fat other places. And it also really stinks that it doesn't make any difference what I do, it's going to keep forming it. That's exactly right. It is. It's like, you know, you are losing the battle against your body. And you're like, this just doesn't seem fair. And like, well, you know, that's natural. That's natural aging. You know what? I have a whole different point of view. What I, the way I approach this is that the hormones are so kind to you in your 20s. They gave you energy. They gave you creative thought process. That just, just gave you this way, this positive outlook and everything. They're gone. Yeah. They are gone. They have checked out. <laughs> so, why can't we bring them back? You know, if you have depression because your estrogen's low, well, why don't we give you estrogen? Well, no, no, we'll just give you an antidepressant. Yeah. You're like, well, what? but wait a second, time out. That's a band aid. The problem is the low estrogen. Or, oh gosh, I'm, you know, really edgy really irritable, I can't sleep, or I wake up multiple times at night, can't go back to sleep, caused from low progesterone levels, or irritability and anxiety caused from low progesterone levels, why are we giving Xanax for that, or giving sleeping pills for that, when it's the progesterone that is the problem? 